back to the free range cheese. Today we're going to be comparing MREs. We're going to be comparing civilian MREs to government issue MREs. I got the two closest that I could think of. This is beef brisket. This is beef brisket. I'll also be comparing price points. Nothing on this one. We'll have to open it and see what's inside of it. Okay, let's see. We're going to start with the civilian MRE. See what kind of goodies they got in here. Chocolate peanut butter spread. Tropical Fruit Crunch, Roasted Salted Corn Nuggets, Oatmeal Cookie, always a favorite, Crackers That Never Go Bad, uh, Generic Accessory Pack, at least they got the good MRE spoon in there, there's going to be the entree, the Beef Brisket. Here are beverage pouch. Here's standard flamers ration heater. And your card. A beep riff kit. And MREMeals.com. Now let's open the government issue one. I'm betting there's probably more calories in this one. Cardboard for Brie brisket entree. Flameless ration heater. White wheat snack bread as opposed to regular wheat snack bread. That's a new one to me. Toffee candy, Tootsie Rolls basically. Oatmeal cookie. Accessory pack. I like this better butter, bro. Peanut butter. Blackberry jam. Good old industrial brown spoon. Irish cream cappuccino instant power mix. One of my favorites. Uh, let's see what the extra entree in here is. Mashed potatoes. And beef brisket entree. Now comes the good stuff. Get to eat them. Let's go with the uh, civilian MRE first. Here, we'll take it out here and put it on the plate. Pretty much what the meal looks like when you're going to eat it. Uh, let's start opening everything. Roasted salted corn nuggets. Probably an expensive version of corn nuts. Nope, don't want to eat that crap. Yep, corn nuts. I wonder what flavor these are. No, just original flavor corn nuts. Pretty good. The incredible edible never dying crackers.
Oh, that one broke. Oh well. Oh, new cookie. I guess there's not one of those pouches in there. Chocolate peanut spread. Get everything all good and happy in here. I'm gonna cook that in a minute. Nap. Coffee. Two sugars. Salt and pepper. Creamer or whitener, depending on what part of the country you come from. And a nice thick round towel. Let's not forget our drink. Tropical fruit punch flavored no fruit juice. That isn't good. Oh, smells exactly like Kool Aid. That's yeah, pretty much what your MRE is going to look like. Well, now that everything is cooked, let's uh, open it up see how it looks. Uh, a lot of beef. Not bad. Let's see. Looks pretty good, like a regular beef brisket. Let's see how it tastes. Surprisingly good for an MRE. I'll wash down the little fruit punch. Let's get a little chocolate peanut butter spread action going on. Now a little liquidy. What do you expect? It definitely looks like a cross between peanut butter and chocolate. Let's see how they taste. Kind of tastes like uh, you took Reese's and mixed it with peanut butter. Definitely a good taste. Show some of these corn nuts. Come on, focus. There we go. I wonder if they just uh, have the same company that makes them if they're generic.
They are crunchy and loud. Don't taste like much. Tastes kind of like uh, corn on the cob. Pretty much what it tastes like. A little bit of salt on it. I'll try some of our oatmeal cookie that they gave us. That's a damn good oatmeal cookie. Tastes like it's got frosting on it. I don't see any frosting though. I'm going to finish this off. Don't need to watch me eat the rest of it. It is a very good buy. Everything tastes very good. Everything was uh, at when I bought it. No less than 18 months old. Two years at the most. Everything was delicious. Huh? On to the next one. Now the government issued one. Let's see. Crack open everything up. Crack everything open, I mean. And the regular condiments that come in this one. Salt, TP, chiclets, and a wet wipe. First the oatmeal cookie. Now this one's whole. That's good. Well, so much for that. Now the white wheat snack bread. What do you know? Regular white bread. Candy toffee rolls. Aha, that was correct. Tootsie Rolls. Lemonade. Sometimes that happens. And the Irish cream cappuccino instant powder. We're gonna fill that up. And I fill that one up. Okay. I'm gonna start heating this stuff up and we'll be right back. And we're back after cooking it. Let's go ahead and open these up, see how they look. Get a good taste going. First the potatoes. Oh, that's hot. like some potatoes in there. And it must be chives or something in there. Mix that up with the better butter buds. Oh, it's smelling much more better.
Get every little last bit of that out of there. Another brisket. Let that cool down a little bit because it is very, very hot. So much for that, I guess. I'll put up the Tootsie Rolls. Looks like your standard Tootsie Roll. Hmm. Not bad. Peanut butter. Some potato there, I'm not gonna worry about it. Nice and smooth peanut butter, just the way it's supposed to be. Mm. And blackberry jam. Shows up that coming. Classic PB and J. Bread's starting to come apart. <laughs> hmm. Tastes like uh, Walsh's, Walsh's grape jelly. Wonder if that's a uh, parent company and for the oatmeal cookie. Nice, flaky, never disappointing. They never show frosting on that. But they always taste like they got frosting on them. Very good. There's a brisket. Mmm, that's good too. A lot of people complain about. MRE food not having a lot of taste or just being really bland. That's actually pretty good. Without any seasoning or anything on it. 
Let's try the potatoes now with the uh, better butter buds. Mmm. I was suspecting these were going to taste like uh, TV mashed potatoes, which I really don't like. That really nasty tasting, uh, dehydrated, water, no butter, no nothing on it. But these are pretty damn thick, and that's really, really good. And those aren't chives in there. I think they're just uh, the black part or the part that they peeled off and just mashed up in there and dehydrated and reconstituted them. It's all good. And that little bit of peanut butter. Next thing that came in there was a lemonade. That actually tastes pretty good. I've had a couple uh, MRE lemonades. Once I come in pouches like that. They don't taste that good. These ones and the small ones, they taste like real lemonade. And then the uh, Irish cream cappuccino. Uh, cappuccino. Not bad, not bad. Definitely probably should have had that warmed up. Well, that's everything you get in a uh, number seven government issue MRE from, uh, what was it, 2013 I think is the date on this. You get a little extra, you get uh, one extra entree, they give you mashed potatoes with this, you get a jelly with it, and an extra beverage. And I think that's about it compared to the uh, XMRE meal number five, that's the same thing, the beef uh, brisket entree. And now for the conclusion, while both tasted almost exactly the same, no surprise there, they're all made by the same three big companies, all have the same formula they got to use to make the cookies, the bread, everything else. At the time of this filming, the XMRE number no. 5 beef brisket meal was about $15, and I got to choose that one. Out of, I think, uh, six that you could choose from on Amazon. The government issue MRE number seven, same meal, was about $13. Uh, and I got to choose that one too. Now, the XMRE one that I got was two years old. The government issue one that I got was two and a half going on three years old. Now, for a price difference of roughly $2, I think you should go for the government one. You get an extra entree, you get uh, an extra drink, and you get more calories for less money when you're able to choose your own. I mean, some of them can't do that. Some of them just say, oh, it's just a, a random assorted pack for $10. Me, I like all the meals, so it doesn't bother me. If you like specific meals and don't like others, that's a bad choice. But I'm going to go with the government one and stick with that as my standby. As always, enjoy. Enjoy.